Hello, welcome to Jay Plays Games, back again for another Ark Survival tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at beacons, or supply drops, supply crates, supply loot. These are the things in the sky you need to run to whenever they are, so that you can get lots of lovely loot from them. There are some certain things you're going to need to know in terms of what colour they are and what they mean for you in terms of level. Each colour of this supply drop or loot crate is tied to a certain level, so you have to beat that level before you can access what's in the supply crate. They appear randomly throughout the day, but always in the same location. So it might be at different times, but they will appear at the same three or four locations around you all the time. There are hundreds of them all around the maps. You can see this one's green in front of me, and we've got a blue one in a far distance over there. So let's go and look at exactly what level each colour means, what level you need to be to access the loot that's inside. So in the distance here you can see a white beacon. This is one of the first ones you'll be able to unlock. It's a level 3. So basically as soon as you start on an island, within a few minutes of gathering items, you should be at level 3 and it means you can access the loot that's inside this white beacon. So the next one available is the green level. You have to be level 15 to access what's inside these green bad boys. Inside all these crates you have chances of getting engrams, but in the harder parts of the island you get higher and styled engrams. So you can see here there's lots of fibre, stone, thatch, wood, hide. So you can see this blue one in the distance, this is going to be a level 25. You will not be able to access what's inside unless you are level 25. Now again be careful exactly where they are, because if they're at a low drop you could kill yourself. Ooh, like this. After that you're going to need to be level 35 to access a purple beacon. That's the next level you can activate. These tend to be in much harder areas so you really will have to go exploring into the harder zones and be at a higher level before you can access the purple beacons. The same goes for the yellow and the red. Yellow is level 45 and the red is level 60. So you go, here is footage of level 60 red beacon. So in all of these beacons, you've got chances to find engrams. Sometimes it's giving you lots of engrams you've not unlocked, so you won't have to waste your points on unlocking it. And obviously the higher the level beacon, the higher the level engram chance you have of getting. So it's definitely well worth not unlocking some of these engrams until you've absolutely made sure you've gone and explored some of the beacons around you. Because they will give you not only some engrams, but it will give you lots of different things. Sometimes it's berries, sometimes it's wood, weapons, thatch, flint, hide. All sorts of things can appear in these beacons. So whenever you see one and you're definitely at that level, run towards it as quick as you can and access what's inside. But remember, avoid any types of enemies nearby, make sure the way is clear before attempting to take all the stuff out of it. And if you're on a PvP map, absolutely make sure you've got your back covered, because if other players are on the server and they see it, they will also be running towards it. As I progress, I'm going to make sure I update you guys on what you can find in each and every single beacon, what the chances of it finding the specific loot in each one, and what you can get in the very high level beacons. So I've been Plays Games. thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Check out all my other Ark Survival tutorials. Hit me know if you like them and I'll see you guys very soon for more Dino action.